Here we are in the marketplace inside this Beatrix24 instance. So I've got Connect24 here. I have already installed it. Yeah, so it's asking me if I want to delete it. Otherwise, there would be an install button there, of course. It's very simple to install. It asks for permissions for the CRM for tasks and employees, and you just hit yes, and there you go. Once you've installed it, you get this option here, Connect24 in My Workspace. Here, of course, you have to be an administrator to install or remove apps. But then every user has Connect24, and they get the option to install the Google Chrome extension. So that's the second part of this. Now, I've already done that as well. That's also very easy. This takes you out to the uh, Play Store, or the apps, the apps, and, and you just hit uh, install, and it pops right in there. So once you've got that installed, you can go into your Gmail, and so here's my Gmail. I've got an unread message here. Note that right now I don't have anything concerning Connect24 here. I've only got the, the little, um, you know, that, that thing. Once I open this up, here, and I'll expand that, maybe even make it bigger. Once I, once I bring that up, I've got the Connect24 box. Okay, so... The Connect24 box is going to ask me to <laughs> to start off. We go to the marketplace in your Beatrix24 instance and find Connect24. I've already got it installed, so it's allowing me the option to delete it. Otherwise, you'd have an install button here. It asks for permissions to the CRM, to tasks, and to employees. You just say yes, and it installs. Once that installs, you get the Connect24 menu item in my workspace. Now, you have to be an administrator, of course, to install it, but once that is done, everybody has access to, to this screen and you can then install the Google Chrome extension from here. Again, that's very easy. You just hit that button, you go out to the Google Apps, you hit Install, and you're done. And that gets you this, okay? So here, I, as you can see, I'm already authorized into my current Beatrix24 instance. So once you've got, once you've got that, you can go into your Gmail and you see that I've got an open, I've got a um, open message here from a fake person and I've got the Connect24 button here at the top. Now that button's only going to be here when you actually have an open message. Okay. So let's open that up and let's see what happens. Now, there are several addresses associated with this email. Okay. I'm only interested in this one. Okay. And so it is giving me the option to create that, uh, uh, that contact or lead or company. Right. I'll go ahead and make it a contact. So I have Pat Burroughs email. That looks good. Let's go ahead and create it. All right. So it does that, and now I have already created a contact in my Beatrix24 with this person, all right? And I still have the option to, to create up here. So if you have other ad addresses, some that are unknown and some that are known, you'll get this split interface. Now I'm going to append this email address as an incoming email address, as a task, and I can pop in a deadline right there, okay? Or as a message in the activity stream of that contact. Not in the main activity stream, but in the activity stream of that particular contact. So I'll go ahead and make it, um, let's make it a task. 
So here's the July updates, and I send it like that. Okay, it's already there. Now, just to show what it looks like if it's an incoming email, um, you can do something like this, you know, um, email. All right, so now I've got, I've sent it as a task and as an email just for demonstration purposes. Let's go back here, go into my CRM section. Actually, we don't even, okay, you can see that it's already, it's already come up here as a task, okay, and I can see, you can see that a contact has been created. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, click on that contact and open it up. Okay, so there it is. So here's my contact. Okay, what activities are here? Well, there's a incoming email. Okay, right as though as though that email had been sent directly into my CRM. Okay, so I took it from my Gmail and using the app, I sent it into the CRM as though it was straight from the client. And then of course the task. So that is what Connect24 gets you if you install it and employ it with your Gmail account.